Uh, also in the wall cow sphere, uh, my boy, Patrick S. Tomlinson, a renowned sci-fi author, has made it to the big leagues and is on the news talking about the stalker child that have been harassing him for years. Science fiction author Patrick Tomlinson posted a casual tweet. I simply said that I'd never personally found the comedian Norm Macdonald funny. It caught the attention of online harassers who began swatting Patrick and his wife Nikki at their Milwaukee home. Swatting is when false calls trick 911 dispatchers into sending an all-out armed response. The experience can be terrifying. I make my way downstairs to find that there are half a dozen uh, police with pistols drawn, shotguns, AR-15s, flashlights all pointed at my head. I am pulled out of the house and then on my own front porch I am immediately I'm handcuffed. And not just once. Our house has been swatted 42 times now. 42 times police have actually come in some form to your yes. door. Yes. No central agency tracks swatting, but one estimate put the number at more than 1,000 incidents in 2019 alone. Over just six days this April, at least nine universities were victims. And police estimate each incident costs communities more than $10,000. Patrick and Nikki are still constantly harassed. They've been texting us during this interview. And their harassers use voice synthesizers and other technology to mask their identity. Maybe you should get a real job. Then again, you'll be able to learn a trade in prison. At the same time, they can't get the police to stop coming. The Milwaukee Police Department tells NBC News they have been to Patrick and Nikki's house at least 40 times, but they didn't share any ideas for how they're going to solve this problem. In a statement, they told us MPD has a duty to respond to calls for service in order to ensure that no one is in danger. How dangerous is swatting? Uh, it's extremely dangerous. Now, the FBI is getting involved, creating a swatting command center so police departments can exchange information. We know the problem exists throughout the country. I think the FBI recognizes that uh, we have uh, resources available to help track what's going on, to be able to easily share information with one another to report incidents. Meanwhile, Patrick and Nikki are in their fifth year of daily harassment. What has it done to the two of you to be in this position? It's taken away our sanctuary. We don't feel safe in our own home. Every department in this country should have policies, procedures, and training around it. People have died from it. There is no excuse. A waste of public resources and a nightmare for its victims. Jake Ward, NBC News. Mil so step one, this is the very first thing that any law enforcement agency will tell you if you are being swatted. Do not react to it. And if you do react to it, they will continue to do it because you are giving them a reaction. Patrick Tomlinson reacts to it every single time. He goes on the news and complains about it. He goes on Twitter and posts videos. He goes on Twitter and posts hilarious videos of him. Sorry, he uh, he gets on on the call, like recorded. Um freaking out at police officers instead of handling anything like an adult he makes it incredibly difficult to sympathize with him despite my default instinct being to sympathize with him because he is a big fat sweaty pig monster man child and he just can't fucking help himself because he's so entitled <sighs> he actually got on the news twice I want to say he looks particularly pig monstrous in this, uh, in this clip who's this woman that he's with by the way is this, I asked, I asked this in the thread and I couldn't get a, a confirmation. Is this the woman who he farted into her vagina or is that a different woman? Cause I've never seen her before. I've never heard of her and somehow, uh, I don't know. She's sitting next to him on the couch. Some chick. Is this, is it even like his wife or is this like his girlfriend? Oh, that is his wife. She's the fart haver. Okay. They said it is different. This is the vagina farter. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> there's a, there's a text where one of the AL, see Patrick also does this hilarious thing that makes it very hard to sympathize with him where he, um, 
Oh, did I have this exact same conversation? Everyone's saying that they're having a stroke and they're, <laughs> they have deja vu. Did I watch this last stream? I did watch this last stream, did I not? No, there's no way I could have. Because that was, this was on Saturday. How did I watch this video and ask about her vagina? Um, I just don't understand. You already showed this senile feeder. This is the same clip, but it was just, it just came out. How did I show this clip in the past? <laughs> Fuck you, chat. I don't care anymore. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.